victims of the VBS mutual bank corruption scandal are still looking for answers and money. Two billion rand, in fact. But the wheels of justice are turning very, very slowly. Fourteen people currently stand accused, including the ANC's Danny Msiza, who stepped down as the party's treasurer in Limpopo on Wednesday. After months of pressure, Rufio Amadzena has been checking in with some of the victims as they try to rebuild their lives, as well as with Nedbank, who now hold the purse things. Thank you so much, Rufio Amadzena, for being out there for us. Uh, people lost a lot of money. Some people, their life savings. So uh, they really are trying to rebuild build from scratch. What have they been telling you? Thank you. Um, and we are in Makado in Limpopo and um, a lot of them haven't been able to rebuild. That is the sad story. I mean, I spoke to one gentleman who lost life savings of about 600,000 rand and that was everything that he had saved throughout his working life. He now lives on his mother's pension himself, his wife and his young children. Uh, and that is just one of many stories that have come out of the VBS looting now. But I've got uh, well, Robert Liwoyi, who is uh, the chairperson of the VBS Shareholders Forum, and he was one of the victims as well as an owner of the bank, and he's going to be sharing with us his thoughts on the developments around the looting and the prosecutions that are happening, as well as rebuilding his life. Well, Robert, thank you very much for your time this morning. Let's start with the developments that have been happening around the VBS scandal, the arrests that have happened. Um, your thoughts on the wheels of justice, are they moving swiftly enough in your view? Mm, thank you, Rokiwa, for this opportunity for me to say this. And uh, let me correct that I'm not the chairperson, I'm the secretary okay. of uh, VBS Shareholders Forum. Um, what uh, is uh, happening, it's very uh, uh, unfortunate. And uh, you, 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 you know, uh, we lost a lot of money there, unfairly so. So, by the way, in short, if I have to say, I would say that it's, it's not uh, pleasant at all. And, but there are some developments in terms of the wheels of justice moving. Are you satisfied that something is being done about what happened? Yeah, we... We acknowledged uh, uh, the development that is going on, and it's, it's fair for the law to take its course. But uh, it is not uh, enough for us, because <clears throat> when you talk about somebody who lost the money, if you arrest somebody, you don't uh, give uh, that uh, somebody his, 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 his money back. Uh, that, that is a, a legality, and the legality must take its course. But we are also saying all the people who lost, including myself, we must get our money back. That's right. Now, you <coughs> were an investor, you were a shareholder of a VBS. Talk us through the relationship you had with the bank and opportunities that it allowed you to create for yourself um, and your businesses before everything fell apart. Yeah, let me tell you that the, this has been one of the best banks that I relied on. Uh, I started banking with uh, VBS in 1987 when I started working. I had debit order that was going through the VBS. And then since then, until it collapsed, I had a very good relation with them. I was uh, saving with them and I was also getting money whenever I need money. That's right. Uh, and, and really just some of the milestones that you were able to achieve through that relationship with VBS, if you could give us a sense. So I still remember in 1993, I wanted to build a house. The house, the plan of a house uh, needed 170,000. And uh, I only qualified for 110 uh, uh, bond. So what I did was that I put the foundation of the house and went to VBS so that they can pay the value of the foundation. And then from there I built the walls and then so I continue to go and take the money for the walls. And then I managed to build a house worth uh, 170000 with 110000 That is amazing. So you were able to build your home 
with the support of VBS and obviously other milestones that you've achieved over the years. Um, talk us through, there's been a process where Net, NetBank was appointed by the South African Reserve Bank to facilitate some repayments. Uh, were you one of those that was able to get some money back and are there still some monies or shares outstanding in your particular situation? Yes, uh, myself, I did get the 100,000 because you realize that was the, limi the, the minimum limit that you can get out of the investment only. So I had the investment, which was more than 100,000, and I, it's, I also had uh, the, the, the shares. I bought the shares also. So the shares, I haven't yet got any cent, and uh, with the balance of my investment also, I'm still waiting. Right, and obviously there's a claims process happening for the outstanding um, shares and uh, uh, monies. Where are we with that process? Yeah, you'll realize not so long they had a call where they were calling people to come and uh, verify. I also went there and verify, and uh, they acknowledged that they, they've uh, received my, uh, my application for the leftovers. So I believe we are going to, 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 to get our money back uh, uh, as the, 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 the process concludes. Yeah, that sounds very positive that you might be getting your monies back. Uh, a final thought from you. There has been talk over the last few months uh, before the pandemic hit about reopening VBS, obviously under a new guise um, and really regaining the trust of the people who once invested uh, their savings there. Um, have you been part of that particular process and your thoughts about this notion of perhaps reopening the bank? Yes, I, I am part of uh, the, 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 the group because uh, remember I'm in the executive uh, committee who are doing all what we can do in order to claim everything back, including the bank. Uh, so we had some people who visited us, they wanted to help us and we welcome everybody to come and help us. Unfortunately, those who are not uh, going according to uh, our principles, then we try to, 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 to stop them as soon as possible mm. so that we can go together if they want to help us. Mm. And we have to lead the show because if you take somebody who is not a shareholder to lead the show of the shareholders to claim what belongs to them, then I think it will be out of order. No, thank you so much for your time uh, this morning. So I've been speaking there to um, Robert Libui, who is the secretary of the VBS Shareholders Forum. He's talked to us about the developments around the uh, legal case against those who have been implicated in the collapse of VBS. His own experience, you know, a uh, very heartfelt story about how he built his home in 1993 with financing, with the assistance of VBS. BBS and subsequently other investments throughout his working life that he's had the assistance of VBS. And of course, a very important note there at the end that there is some hope that via the claims process that is currently underway, these people will be getting the monies that they lost back, which is some comfort for those who actually lost everything due to that looting that happened a few years ago.